Hello, uh, I am Skyhook, and this is Kerbal Space Program. Today we're doing a very special episode, uh, and I've decided to entitle it Mod Spotlight. Uh, this is the series where we're going to go through and just look at some of the mods in the game, and uh, just, just look at how they impact the game, how well they perform, everything like that. Uh, so we're going to get started with our first rocket here. Uh, and this is going to be KW Rocketry line of 2.5 meter uh, launch stages uh, basically they're, they're designed to be just that uh, just just to get your rocket off the ground uh, out of or uh, into uh, low carbon orbit now the publishers for uh, KW rocketry are Winston and kick-ass Kyle uh, th those are the two publishers Winston did the uh, actual models and the textures were done by kick-ass Kyle uh, and I've already explained that um, this is a launch these are basically designed to be launch vehicles and things like that and uh, as we launch our first rocket 2.5 meters and it's it's destined for the moon um, and I'm gonna have uh, three very powerful uh, I believe they're in the Griffin line of engines both of them should have about 1700 thrust each uh, so very powerful uh, definitely more than enough more than we need to actually get to the moon as you'll see um, and then as our first stage runs out we start the second one and yep yep we're still going and destined toward the moon um, and uh, it's, it's a very uh, powerful line of uh, rockets uh, so you should have no problem getting anywhere to uh, anywhere from low curve in orbit to places like the moon as you can see uh, and, and on this actual, uh, I guess, transfer vehicle, we can call it, as it's warping around to actually be able to uh, shoot for the moon, as it were. And uh, both the the 2.5 meter, I guess, kind of uh, squished tuna can safe uh, fuel tank, that's a part of KW rocketry, and as well the actual um, 2.5 meter engine uh, for the um, for the uh, actual rocket. Now it's going to be uh, taking off here soon. Um, it doesn't have the highest thrust to weight ratio, um, but it is something that's relatively efficient. Um, so I definitely recommend this engine for uh, any orbital operations if you're going to do docking or anything like that. Um, and that's, you know, it's basically the use of this, this 2.5 meter engine. And it's going to be burned out towards the moon. And we should be getting there. Yep. Now. Uh, by the power of moving magic we're already out at the moon gonna be time warping in for just uh, more or less a flyby over the moon I didn't actually plan to land I didn't set it up to land simply, simply because that uh, actual I guess engine is just much too tall to actually fit any any landing gear on it so but as far as the parts and how they are balanced um, I think that most of them are relatively powerful uh, it's going to give you a relatively realistic uh, feel uh, as far as thrust to, thrust to weight ratio, things like that, uh, without making the game uh, actually too easy. Um, and as, as you'll notice, some of the 2.5 meter stages, uh, the, the 2.5 meter fuel tanks, things like that, are actually quite heavy and they, they add a lot of weight. Um, so you're gonna have to still plan carefully, uh, but the the KW rocketry series is definitely designed to uh, so that you are able to get to low carbon orbit and launch your vehicle and do it in style. And so we were actually ending up that moon mission there, and in a couple of seconds we should be transitioning to my test of the actual three meter series of rockets uh, which is something that's um, just really a pleasure to fly looks really nice when you launch it and here we are uh, and this, this is going to be a part of the 3.75 meter stage or uh, 3.5 meter parts um, uh, in the middle we have the, the largest 3.75 meter uh, tank and we also have the the uh, very largest Griffin engine has 3,800 thrust. It, it really is a behemoth. And if you're able to uh, save enough fuel to get it in the higher stages of orbit, um, you're, you're going to get a lot of thrust out of it, a lot of thrust to weight ratio. Um, and you you will 
very soon get to orbit. Um, you know, it's one of those things that um, it's, it's, it's the be all end all of rocket engines, uh, pretty much. Because you, you can get it to orbit uh, in, in a very no frills. Hello, uh, I am Skyhook, and this is Kerbal Space Program. Today, we're doing a very special episode. Uh, and I've decided to entitle it Mod Spotlight. Uh, this is the series where we're going to go through and just look at some of the mods in the game. And uh, just, just look at how they impact the game, how well they perform, everything like that. Uh, so we're going to get started with our first rocket here. Uh, and this is going to be KW Rocketry's line of 2.5 meter uh, launch stages. Uh, basically, they're designed to be just that. Uh, just, just to get your rocket off the ground. Uh, out of or uh, into uh, low carbon orbit. Now the publishers for uh, KW Rocketry are Winston and Kickass Kyle. Uh, th those are the two publishers. Winston did the uh, actual models and the textures were done by Kickass Kyle. Uh, and I've already explained that um, this is a launch. These are basically designed to be launch vehicles and things like that. And uh, as we launch our first rocket 2.5 meters, and it's, it's destined for the moon. Um, and I'm going to have uh, three very powerful, uh, I believe they're in the Griffin line of engines. Both of them should have about 1700 thrust each. Uh, so very powerful, uh, definitely more than enough, more than we need to actually get to the moon, as you'll see. Um, and then as our first stage runs out, we start the second one, and yep, yep, we're still going and destined toward the moon. Um, you know, it's, it's a very uh, powerful line of uh, rockets, uh, so you should have no problem getting anywhere to uh, anywhere from low curve in orbit to places like the moon, as you can see. Uh, and, and on this actual, uh, I guess, transfer vehicle, we can call it, as it's warping around to actually be able to uh, shoot for the moon, as it were. And uh, both the the 2.5 meter, I guess, kind of uh, scorched tuna can shape uh, fuel tank, that's a part of KW rocketry, and as well the actual um, 2.5 meter engine uh, for the um, for the uh, actual rocket. Now it's going to be uh, taking off here soon. Um, it doesn't have the highest thrust to weight ratio, um, but it is something that's relatively efficient. Um, so I definitely recommend this engine for uh, any orbital operations if you're going to do docking or anything like that. Um, and that's, you know, it's basically the use of this, this 2.5 meter engine. And it's going to be burned out towards the moon. And we should be getting there. Yep. Now, uh, by the power of 